Hello and welcome to a brand new video by your favorite travel bloggers and vloggers Tambo, myself and Laura who is in the bathroom getting ready right now because today is a big day Hi. for us. So what we're doing today is we're going on a flight. We're right now in Hollywood, California. This is our last day here. We are going to the airport today and then we're flying from America to Thailand. But we're flying to Qatar first and we're using Qatar Airways. So this video is all about how to survive a 16 hour flight. So tip number one, stay in a nice hotel before you go. We're staying in a quite nice hotel right now. And you know it's a nice hotel when it's featured in this amazing book, the 2016 Travel Guide of Hotels and Resorts, and this is actually in there. There it is right here. We're staying at the Orlando in Hollywood. Let's give you a tour. All right, people, here we are, new hotel, familiar location. We're back in LA, we're back in Hollywood. This time we're at the Orlando Hotel. This place is amazing. Let me give you a little tour of the room. So as you come in, you'll see the amazing bathroom first of all. Here it is. You have a really, really nice shower. Wow, it's so big. It's really big. Shampoo, conditioner and other goodies there. A real stylish sink. So this hotel has also got a scale in the bathroom, which is a first. We've never seen a scale in hotels, so that's great. It's down here. Let's get it out and weigh myself. 151 pounds. No wait, 151 stone. <laughs> cool. Okay, and then you enter the amazing living room. Here you have the bed, there you have a chill out area, there you have a desk, which is always appreciated in the corner there, this desk, and a massive flat screen TV, which is also great. I also love this book about Los Angeles, which is very helpful, and there's a great picture in there. It really shows what LA is all about. Um, what you can do in LA, which is pretty cool. We also received some complimentary cashews as we got in the room, which is pretty cool. They were already here. So thank you very much, Orlando. And here's the chill out area. You can, you can chill out. Let me demonstrate how to chill. It's really good because often, you know, we'll have a desk in a hotel. Tommy will sit there and I'll sit in the bed and I'll just go to sleep, but it's nice if I get a sofa. Right, and not to Or if Tambay let me use the desk once in a while. I always love have a good desk as well. This is a really good desk. Really great chair. I feel very businessy now. I like that they have sockets in the light. That's cool. Right. Yeah, and that's it. We're going to stay tonight. We're going to show you more in the morning. Another cool thing that I've never seen before is if you turn on the telly and then press menu, it says, Welcome Cody Laura to the Orlando Hotel. How cool is that? So there's also a great fitness room. There's also a business room for any business things you might need to take care of. So my tip is to have a really long hot shower before you leave for the airport. As you can see, my shower was very hot. This is to like relax you, but also because you're gonna just feel so disgusting after 16 hours on a plane that it's good to be as clean as possible if you can. On that note, I recommend taking some kind of cleaning projects with you. Um, these were actually provided by our hotel, the Orlando, which was really cool. This one is to clean off your makeup or just to clean your face if you're not going to wear any makeup. Like, I'm not wearing any makeup on the plane, hence why I'm not in the video. These are just to clean, like, after you've been to the toilet, which is always nice. So the next tip is you're going to need some good headphones. We recommend these uh, Moshi headphones. They are wireless as you can see they work on Bluetooth so the cool thing is you put them in and there's no wire so you're not connected to anything which is awesome you can dance around and there's no cable anywhere so that's pretty cool you know you can be very far away from your device doesn't matter you could even go to the toilet <laughs> and another cool thing is that if you have two pairs which we do you can actually connect them to the same device and both you and whoever else is wearing the second pair can listen to the same stuff. So you can watch a movie together or listen to songs together, whatever you like. So this is really great for us because obviously we're a couple and we like to listen to the same music and share a toothbrush. These actually came in like really handy on another flight we took. This isn't really relevant to Qatar Airways, but when we were flying with WestJet, they actually don't have um, TVs on their, on their planes, so you can download an app on your device and watch your TV on there, which is fine, but um, you know, we have a phone and we have an iPad, and the iPad was obviously a lot better to watch films on because it's a lot bigger. Before we'd have been like squabbling, oh, who gets the iPad? But because of these, we got to both watch the same film on the iPad, and I don't know, for, for us that was like really cool because we could watch a film together, and it was all thanks to these headphones. Thumbs up! So our next tip is to take a comfortable ride to the airport. Us. We could have taken two buses and right. changed like three times, but 
we decided to do this instead. This super shuttle. Bam, here we are at the airport. And you know when you're checking in with Qatar Airways, when... They're getting out the carpet for the business class and platinum gold and silver members. So they're actually rolling out the carpet. <laughs> and I think they're being Classic. serious. So here we are at the airport and another good tip is to seek areas where there's no one around so you can stretch. So we're in LA right now, LAX, near gate 28. And if you come up these stairs here, you will see this whole area uh, with not many people around where you can stretch. So yeah, you can just stretch here and chill out. As you can see, there's not many people around. And um, yeah, this is what the airport looks like, by the way. So today is a Wednesday. It's sort of empty, which is good. And I just noticed that you can share your hashtag LA story <laughs> um, if you're ever interested in having to be at LAX. And that's the other side. Gate 28 is in that corner there. That's where Laura's sitting and waiting. <laughs> Here's our vegetarian meal, which is actually vegan, which we selected before we uh, departed. Actually, when we bought the flight, which was quite a while ago. And Laura's having gin and tonic. That's just water. Okay, we've made it to Qatar Airport. Wait, we're going on this thing because it's quicker. We're catching our flight to Bangkok now. Laura feels sick. I feel great actually. I slept a lot, watched some uh, movies, TV shows, and that was, it was fun. So the next tip is to, if you can, get a whole aisle for yourself like we just did in the plane. So we had three seats for the two of us. So Laura could stretch her legs and lay down and do all of that. And I could stretch my legs and lay down. And the uh, bay behind us was also empty, I think. There was only one guy. And the bay in front of us was also kind of empty. There's only two people. So we could, um, you know, push our seats back and not feel bad about that. So that was great as well. Dinosaurs at Qatar Airport. You can buy them as a toy. My god, yeah, that was. Wow. Those are all toys. No, no, no. Wow. Oh my god, I love that one. That giraffe is bigger than me. That's crazy. Who buys that? Oh wow, check out the Batmobile as well. Also, what is that? <laughs> what is it? Is it art? Comment below if you know what it is. Because I sure don't. So we're going to gate B1 to Bangkok. B for Bangkok. No, I think that's just coincidence. But, anyways, gate B. Okay, on our way to B1. Gate B1, here we go. Now we're off to Bangkok. So this is the first time we're getting one of these seats where it's right in front of the wall, so I have more leg room. There's stuff in the side so you can get stuff out. And then this. And then here's a tray. Yeah, look, watch this. You watching? Wow. Oh, that's my screen. Oh, wow. Oh, that's my food tray. Thank you. <laughs> nice. And yeah, I think this is definitely one of the newer uh, Qatar planes because there's like an upstairs area that looked like a bar or something. Probably a business class or whatever. But yeah, pretty cool. in Thailand when you see Snail White which we're not affiliated with in any way but we're so happy to be here but on yeah. a side note we're never taking a plane from LA to Thailand again that was not a great idea but we're feeling it's okay right, I felt worse it's right. yeah I felt worse when we went to Canada I guess yeah I guess we've been here before so it's, it's all good no <laughs> I'm so tired <laughs> Actually, I'm not that tired. I'm not that tired. All right, now we're off to immigration and baggage claim. Let's not forget our big yellow suitcase, which we didn't have last time. It's good to know that it's never touristy in Bangkok. All right, we've made it to our base. I want to call it the base in Bangkok, Thailand. Check it out and check out how much I'm sweating. 
which is a good sign. I'm already rocking out. So yeah, let's check in and go to sleep.